Meet John Hendricks. A little while ago, John suffered a life-changing back injury at work. As a result, he can no longer carry out the work he was trained to do, and his employment prospects are limited. What's more, he can't sit or stand for long in any one position. His life outside work has changed as well. He can't mow the lawn, wash the car, play golf or play basketball with his children. Every year, thousands of workers like John suffer painful injuries while performing manual handling tasks at work. These injuries include sprains, strains, back injuries, hernias and soft tissue damage. So what is manual handling? Manual handling includes pushing, pulling, holding, lifting, carrying and restraining. It also includes repetitive tasks such as packing, typing, assembling, cleaning and sorting, using hand tools and operating machinery and equipment. Tasks that most of us perform every day. There is now legislation in place that requires employers to identify hazardous manual handling tasks in their workplace, to assess the risk associated with performing these tasks and introduce ways to eliminate or reduce the risks. Hazardous manual handling means manual handling that involves any of the following. Repetitive or sustained application of force. For example, lifting and stacking goods onto a pallet. Typing, pushing or pulling a trolley. Repetitive or sustained awkward posture. For example, reaching sideways or crouching to service plant. Repetitive or sustained movement, for example, painting or assembly work. Application of high force, for example, lifting a heavy item from a high shelf. Exposure to sustained vibration, for example, operating earth moving plants using chainsaws or jackhammers. Handling live people or animals. Handling of loads that are unstable, unbalanced or difficult to move. For example, lifting a sack of flour, carrying a ladder. Once you've identified the tasks that involve hazardous manual handling, the next stage is to work out if they're likely to cause a musculoskeletal disorder, MSD. MSD is an injury, illness or disease that arises in whole or in part from manual handling in the workplace. It includes repetitive strain injury, muscle sprains and strains, hernias, chronic pain and other soft tissue damage. Areas to consider when assessing risks are the postures, movements and forces involved in the task. For example, bending, twisting, grabbing, picking, very fast movements, exerting force with one hand or one side of the body. The duration and frequency of the task and any environmental factors, heat, cold and vibration, that act directly on the person carrying out the task. Once we've assessed and recognised the risks associated with the manual handling task, we can then look at ways of reducing or eliminating the risks. The most obvious way that comes to mind is to use good lifting techniques. However, when we look at the range of manual handling tasks we perform, not all involve the straight lifting of objects. So let's look at some other ways we can eliminate or reduce the risks involved in hazardous manual handling. Eliminating the manual handling task that creates the risk is the most effective way of protecting employee safety. We need to ask if the manual handling is really necessary or if there's another way of doing the job that doesn't involve manual handling. For example, some sectors in the health industry have implemented a no-lift policy. If we can't eliminate the manual handling, we need to consider eliminating or controlling the risk in the following order. Altering the workplace, workplace layout, workstation design or the working position of employees, 
Altering environmental conditions, for example, changing the work height by introducing lift tables, positioning frequently used controls, equipment and tools in front of the employee, storing items below shoulder height, altering the systems of work, for example, making sure that employees perform tasks that allow a variety of postures and movements, including a mixture of sitting and standing tasks, using team handling, altering the pace and flow of work, changing the objects used in the manual handling task, modifying tools and equipment, reducing the weight of the object handled, using balances and other tool supports, using mechanical aids, where none of these solutions are available, we then need to ensure that employees are provided with information, instruction and training in manual handling techniques. This training needs to be specific to the task and workplace where the manual handling is performed. Remember, manual handling can cause serious injuries. So at the end of this video, it's important to take time to find out the following. What manual handling tasks does your job involve? Could performing these tasks lead to a musculoskeletal disorder? With whom can you discuss your ideas to reduce the risk of manual handling injuries? Is there a procedure in your workplace for dealing with manual handling problems? Are mechanical aids available to assist you with manual handling? Is there a procedure in place for maintaining these mechanical aids? Is training in the use of these aids available?